Hello and welcome to another episode of Dubai Interviews. Today we are in a beautiful place in Holiday Inn in Al Barsha and we are going to talk to CEO of this hotel. Her name is Roxana Jaffer. Um, I came to Dubai in September 2006 and I came to retire from the United Kingdom having had a very hard uh, working time up there to join my husband. Uh, but as it happens, a working woman can never just sit and do nothing. And I ended up working even harder than what I worked in London. I just enjoyed the heat. I enjoyed mixing with the different cultures that I was meeting at every uh, venue and avenue. Um, uh, everybody talked to everybody. Uh, it was great because in England we have a habit of when we close the door at home, uh, we don't know what happens in the neighborhood. But here it wasn't so. It was hustling and bustling. The only thing that I do find uh, a little um, off-putting is that there isn't much to do on the road. You don't walk a lot on the road whilst you do in England. Like you go to the shops and you meet everybody and you, you walk to get your paper. You walk to get uh, your sweets, <laughs> you know. Uh, it, it, that's a big difference I felt from Dubai and uh, where I, I came from. Uh, right now, I uh, am handling um, one of the uh, hotels of the of the hospitality group, um, and I am the CEO of the Holiday in Dubai Al Barsha, which is situated on the Sheikh Zayed Road next to the Mall of the Emirates. But uh, when I came to Dubai, I was uh, spearheaded as a project manager for building two hotels. Uh, at the same time and oh my god I think I worked really hard going up hoist uh, in 49 degrees of heat in July and working where there was no AC uh, and not knowing what the culture was not knowing how to get your job done and uh, all I knew that the uh, success would prevail but you know we'd get there one day and we did. We started off, the first thing that I did six years ago was to give this a tagline. The hotel was called the four star hotel with a five star look. And this has been ingrained into every member of the staff that we employed so that they could understand that we were only going to be giving five star service. It doesn't matter, we were not charging five star prices, but we were going to be giving five star charge. Uh, um, um, service and the look also lent to that and that I think is our success to date because if you read anywhere the first thing people remark on the website word of mouth people walking in that you know what your staff are just ace and I believe that they are when you say what is my um, USP I would definitely say it is my staff who are there to ensure that we give our best of course when it comes to the word best Dubai is full of superlatives we're the best four-star hotel I think in this part of the world now what I feel that if I now help with the CEO club I might be able to help others who are in the same field as me and perhaps help ladies to, to be able to break the glass ceiling, uh, which I think I've managed to do. Uh, I sit um, in many meetings with several men and maybe two women. And um, I'm not one of those who keeps quiet. So I would like to think that I like to tease everybody and their intellect and uh, I will not give up unless I have a proper logical response. And I feel women in Dubai, women in the GCC countries, a lot of them are amazing women that I've met, a lot of local ladies uh, who have a lot to give and perhaps they just need a little bit of uh, guiding. And uh, hey, I, that's what I want to do. To embrace change, to be accountable and responsible for every action we take and not to frown upon uh, mistakes. Take them in your stride, learn about them, learn from them and grow. Everything. I love Dubai. 
I love the culture. I love being able to integrate my culture with theirs. I love integrating the 25 cultures that perhaps we employ in just uh, our hotel. Um, I love the weather. I love not paying tax. Um, hey, tell me what you don't like about Dubai. Two months of heat, but I can still live with that. You know, what can I sell you about Sheikh Mohammed? His vision is just unbelievable. It's still f unfolding, is it not? Every time you do something, there's something more happening and you look around and something else has happened. I think uh, he is re ready to give a lot more. He's branded Dubai in the West, like I would brand a company in anywhere. He's branded a country to a, to a company. and. Uh, Yes, I think there's a lot more that he's going to do. If you read one of his books, which talks about um, his vision, it's mind-blowing as to what he wants to do, what he wants to give to the country, what his responsibility is to his uh, people. And I think he's going to make sure that he gives it all. That's difficult. Um, I think I'd like to still be in Dubai, but I don't know whether uh, Dubai will want me. So <laughs> um, I would like to say that I should be with my, my family. My family are all in England. Uh, and maybe that's by the time I'll be ready to go into the grave and I should be near them, perhaps. I don't know. And that's the end of today's episode of Dubai Interviews. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share the interviews with your friends and colleagues. And if you have some interesting candidate, do not be afraid to get in touch with us. Thank you for watching and see you next time.